put it out there because they censoring everything that needs to be said. But um, we got the album coming. The album is full of insight as well. So we just going to play around with it. We're going to throw them off a little bit. So when y'all see me post the music a little bit more of that, that's just to throw, the, throw, the, throw them off. We're going to save all the drops and all the drip in here anyway. You feel me? That's how we got to do it. Also, a lot of you, um, before I keep opening up this, before I continue to open up this lecture, um, a lot of you um, who place orders, your orders are orders going out every day. It's a memo. Go read the blog. Um, for people that are members and you all didn't know what was going on when uh, the video was cost, I have put a memo out letting you all know. <clears throat> Once a month, we will, be, we, we will be opening up this university free to the public. So all of you who are here right now, you all are members. You have a paid membership, okay? So whenever we do open it up free to the public for the three days, do not buy any videos. Don't buy no videos. So when you see it, and you like, because people was like, do we got to pay? No, if you're a member, you don't have to pay. But if we open the, the university to the public, we're not going to just let the public come in and freeload. You know what I'm saying? Half of them is trolls. And then that's not fair to you all who actually pay. No, nah, this is a real university. Like, it's a real online university. Thanks to bullshit corona. All right, we online with it, and we learning what we need to learn and build to how we need to build anyway. So that's that's a great thing. All right, so uh, so yeah, don't 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 panic when y'all see that. That's for them. That's for the public. Let them rent the little videos for the three days, and then, and then after that, everything will be back free. But just make sure you miss it. the the three days is open. If you miss the lecture, is the lecture gonna be free? But if you miss it, it'll say it costs. But that's only gonna say that to the lecture to the website close again. Once it closes, it's back free to you. So. If you do miss the lecture, why why the website happened to be free, open to the public, just wait until it's closed. It's only open three days. And go back, watch whatever you miss. Like people was trying to buy the video again. No, don't don't buy the video. Don't buy nothing. You already a member. That's what your membership covers. All right. Even those people who are violent members, they're gonna be getting shirts and all that. We're gonna be doing all that. It's just we had to get the merch. So it's a lot going on. All right, but let me keep opening up this lecture. I see y'all steady coming in. Welcome to the University Reflections. We at 250. I see y'all coming in here. I told you, it's always that herd of individuals to come in here, y'all. It's always that herd, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, niggas be outside getting high right before class, God. I'm trying to tell y'all, they be out there getting skunkish. Oh, man, we're going to get skunky before class. Then we're going to step up in there, you know what I'm saying? Because they know I ain't going to trip anyway. I'm like, nigga, if you gonna get high, nigga, come in past that shit, nigga, don't be out there, nigga, trying to come on in here, pass the herbals, sit down, take a seat, you know what I'm saying, you might need a seat, you know, you never know what you hear up in here, you hear, you feel me, prepare the, hear the unhearable in here, prepare to think the unthinkable, see the unseeable, and hear the unhearable, <laughs> y'all feel me out there, reflections, y'all feel me. We at 350. Herds. Y'all coming in by the herds now. Y'all must have heard me from outside, huh? Like, he ain't tripping. He said we can come in and just pass it. This one start coming in deep. <laughs> he said we can come in with it. He ain't tripping. Just pass it. Let the little nigga hit it. He'll be good. We just trying to get this drop real quick. Trying to get these down lows. All right, but look, yeah, so we in here. I see we said to get in here. We getting deeper and deeper. We at 463 now. We going up. Yeah, we, we climbing now. We climbing back up to that 1,000. I want to see 1,000 people in class. All right, 6,000 members strong. I need to see 1,000 people in class. All right, so anyway, let's continue to open it up. So far as to my peers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, I'm sending you nothing but the deepest of insight to you all. Y'all feel me? I'm glad y'all in here. We in here. We're gathered. We're gathered today to decode more lies, all right, to, to get to see past more fuckery because we're remembering who we are. We were, we're remembering who we are, all right, and we're going through history to further figure out who we are and what we come from, all right, because it must be known. It must be known. It can't be hidden. You get what I'm saying? And it's levels to this, to this, to this insight. Everything don't have to go cosmic. Sometimes we got to be right here with it. It's right here. Got to bring it down a notch so we can make cosmic make more sense. All right, so today we're going to talk about a Native American tribe, all right, called the Chicago. I mean, called, called the uh, the Illinois. All right, so I want to send the deepest of insight to my peers and to the um, people in the university, the gods and goddesses. There's 21 and under the, the supreme delicate souls in, that are in here. 21 and under, you know, I appreciate you. I'm sending you number the deepest of insight. Definitely, if you stay in the Midwest. So, so in the university, I just looked at the, we went to look at the map earlier, didn't we, babe? 
We looked at the map earlier, y'all, and we was we like, damn, the university expanded. We over the whole goddamn globe, and we overseas. UK, we ain't in Africa yet, though. But we definitely, I'm talking about people that has memberships that's in the university. Like, I looked at the map earlier. So we around the whole U.S. So everybody that's in the Midwest is going to make a lot of sense today. Why it's so violent in, the, in that Midwest. And I'm not going to just do no lecture just about um, the fight in the line. I, I'm going to do one about Florida Seminoles, Billy Bo, a couple of these, because these are individuals, they, they actually exist that you need to know about. All right? But you got to understand, we are gods. And I always talk to you all about the great invasion of 1492, right? So I talked to you about this, this, this moment before pre-colonialization when we were in our God phase where we were like, Flying is lit, it's so beneath us. That's why when guys ask, like, well, we flying, where we flying? That's nothing. We created everything. You get what I'm saying? So when we had our Oregon energy pyramids and our pyramids that were made out of pure crystals and our trees were still humongous and the trees would sing out frequencies and, and things like that, when, when, like, when we were still in that phase, when we were still red and green and blue because we was breathing hydrogen before they invaded our planet, before they started spraying the chemtrails and the more gelins and the oxygen in the, in, the, in the atmosphere. You get what I'm saying? Like, I speak about that time in here a lot. I speak about pre-colonialization, so you got to understand this time periods here. Now, after 1492, which is pre-Great Invasion, pre-colonialization, after 1492, that's when we begin to fall in frequency. All right, so I'm going to do some lectures on Egypt and stuff like that because it's, it's a planet called Egypt. And the place that they call it Egypt is not even really Egypt. It's an actual planet called Egypt. But that's a whole different lecture. All right? So, but what I want you all to understand is um, they broke us down. Before we got to where we are today, all right, we were at the top. Okay? We were at the top. So, after we were betrayed and we began to fall in frequency, all right, because the uh, human beings, they betrayed us by, uh, well, the Moors betrayed us by teaching the human beings our access codes to our ancient technology. The human beings then turned around and gave it to the Pleiadians and the Draconians who used it against us, and they began to blow out. They blew our second sun out the atmosphere and everything, right? So then we began to fall in frequency. They started to uh, blow our um, pyramid towers up, uh, um, 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 destroy our trees, all right? We had huge, humongous trees. For those of you who haven't watched the video, you need to go watch it. Um, it's called uh, Trees, Mountains, and Lies, all right? But trees, uh, all the giant... Um, trees still exist. You just see them, they, they just cut, they cut. But these are where all your mountain ranges and mountain tops come from. And if you and when you go through, we just hit a thousand. We a thousand deep in class, y'all. Thousand deep. Woo! Shout out to the university. Alright? Be here though. But uh when you um when you go through the west coast or the western part of the country, you see all these mountain ranges. And these mountain ranges, if you're not aware, you'll think they're just mountains. But if you was to go look at Google Maps and look at the top of any mountain, you'll see that these are tree stumps. So go watch that video. It's on this website. Go watch it. All right? But, okay, so this is during that time when they was cutting the trees down and doing all this stuff, right? We scattered amongst the land. This is why in the Bible they tell you about the Tower of Babel and how it fell, and then we were scattered amongst the land. They're really talking about us, the gods, Anunnaki gods, all right? We were scattered amongst the land. And, we, and when we became scattered amongst the land, we began to become tribal. Because before we were scattered amongst the land, we were never tribal at all. So you got to understand where Native Americans come from. Before that, this is us, right? But before we were scattered amongst the land, we weren't tribal. We, we, we communicated using telepathy, and our chips that connected to these tall pyramid towers that we had that were made out of all different types of sapphires, rubies, crystals, tourmalines, all of these different things. I've, I've always said this, right? All right, so now we got scattered amongst the land. Think about it. People that were using telepathy, we were using telepathy. So we can't use it anymore. So what we did, we started ganging up. We're like, okay, well, we can't use telepathy no more, but we're going to gang up. We were still aware of what had happened to us. We fell in frequency. We began to turn these copper complexions. We began to lose our greens and our luminous greens and blues and these beautiful colors that we vibrated, right? Because the frequency of the planet began to become lower. This was all by design, okay? So... This is how you get to that period of what they like to call Native Americans. And they always taught you that the Native Americans was a separate group of people from you. All right? Because they wanted black people and Latino people to believe that Latino people are Latino people. Black people are Africans that come from Africa that were brought across the water, which is a lie. And that Indians are just Indians who were killed off. And that the ones that were left, they were given land and free reservations to live on. This is all bullshit. This is all fucking bullshit. Lies. All right? 
blacks and Latinos are the same species. Genetics will prove that, right? Now, when you talk about these Indians, the people that they give the land to and get a free reservation to, these are not Indians, these are white people. And that's not, nothing against white people, I'm just saying, these are, these are human beings. If they are not human beings, they are Mexicans. Remember, Mexicans, I mean, they are Mexicans, which are a form of human beings still, right? Now, look at this. We still good over there, babe? All right, thank y'all. The wifey let me know that everything look good on the screen for y'all. That you can still hear me good, everything clear? Cool. All right, so look at him right here, right? He looks like what you would call a Mexican-American. That is not the way your uh, Native Americans look. All right, and I don't even want to use the term Native American because we were, ne we, we were never Native to America, all right? Now, we were about, we were darker like that. You see that book where it says Famous Indian Tribes? You see that top picture? We were more like that, all right? Now, when you're looking at us, today you're looking at the Indians, okay? So for you to understand how we got to that phase is because we became tribal after we fell in frequency. Okay, so now, once we became tribal, we had many, many tribes amongst us, many great tribes amongst us, right? Many great tribes amongst us that were strong warrior tribes, full of, still in tune with magical abilities, still in tune with ancient knowledge, all right? And knew how to use it against these Spanish conquistadors. This is why if you listen to a lot about magic or stuff like that, or you read about magic or you read about I mean, just anything dealing with the Native Americans, they always talk about how they had these magical abilities in the West. They talk about them being able to dance and make it rain. They talk about them being real spiritual and communicating with spirits and things of that nature, right? Because this is us. This is us they're talking about. These people, we never look like this. This is a lie. These people who they are telling you are Indians, we never look like this. Even when we became tribal, we did not look like this, all right? We look the same way we do today, all right? Same way we do today, that's how we looked at then, all right? Now, once you understand this truth about who the Native Americans really were, that there was no such thing as Native American, all right, look at all these Indian tribes. This is a, this is a picture right here, here, baby. Look at this. This right here is a picture of all the different Native Ameri in, um, American Indian tribes that was on present-day America, uh, right? You believe that they killed all these tribes off? No, they didn't. They simply moved in, invaded us, went to war with certain tribes, killed off certain powerful tribes, and then renamed us African Americans, Latin Americans. Then renamed this whole land America when it was really just a part of Atlantis, okay? This is a very important period in time that you need to understand where we rebelled. And it's hidden from you because they got you believing that Native Americans are separate from you. But each and every one of you can go back a generation, two, three, four, and everybody gonna say they got, hey, my grandmother is Cherokee, my, 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 my granddad was full-blooded Navajo or whatever. Every black person or Latin per, Latino person you talk to can tell you the same story. Why? Because you are, we are the Native Americans. All right? Hold on. Camera on me for a second, Jim. Thank you. Back here, Jim. We went. Jim, 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 Jim. Stay right there. Stay. You too close. Back, back, right there. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now. A lot of people don't understand this concept, but you must grasp it, that there were never no such thing as motherfucking Native Americans. You looking at them. Now feel that pain. Add that on top of the pain you already got knowing about the shit you went through just as a black person. Now add on top of what the fuck they told you about the Native Americans. Add that on top of that. Because it was your ancestors they told you about in school. But they hid us, they hid you from you by telling you that these are a completely different group of people that you come from from overseas, over the water. No, the old Africans over there, well, those are our people too, but they were just already over there doing them. 
We was over here. If you were born over here right now, your ass is over here in this portion of the of the realm, of the land, of Atlantis. Let's erase the bullshit. Let's eradicate the fuckery now. You must know your history as an Anunnaki God before the Great Invasion of 1492, and you must know your history as Anunnaki Gods and Goddesses after the fall. How you got to where you got to today? How do we get to this point? All right. This is serious stuff right here now. This is serious, right? This is serious what I'm about to show y'all tonight. Because you got to understand what they did to us. These are in. Then they sit here and tell us about the Native Americans and don't even show us na us. They show us other motherfuckers. And then gave them other motherfuckers all the free land that's supposed to came to us. Now, if you take all the free land that the government promised the Native Americans that they never gave them, they gave to, because we are the Native Americans. We the breed of descendants, all right, of these tribes, all right? Because we are an American, so we are the Native Americans, but I'm just saying, we are the Indians that they lied about. We are the tribes. They just took our tribal names from us and renamed us. African Americans, Latin Americans. But before that, you was Cherokee. You was Potawatomi. You was a part of the Illinois Confederacy. You was Seminole. You was Navajo. Aztec, Inca. For those of you overseas, you were Ashanti. Zulu. We became tribes after they attacked our planet. And in these tribes, we still knew who the enemy was. This is what your ancestors fought against. This is what you must remember so that you can intact that warrior spirit in you. So you can remember, there's nothing to fear. This is the accumulation of all that has happened to us as a species. You must remember. How can you remember if portions of your history are being taken from you? They got you believing that the Indians were somebody else. <sighs> now, after they killed all the Indians, right? Which they didn't do. After they killed a lot of Indians, and then, because they called us Indians, but after they killed a lot of us Indians, right? And enslaved most of us, right? Then... They renamed us African Americans. Then sent some of us across seas and back. They sent some of us across seas as Indian slaves. After they conquered us, they sent some of us across seas as Indian slaves. And then once we got over there, they reclassified us as Indian slaves. Then sent us to Africa. Then when we got to Africa, we were reclassified as African slaves and sent back over here. Just so they can have their bullshit story about the Middle Passage, which never existed. To the ladder bay. Just so they can have a bullshit story, guys. Y'all hear me reflections about the middle passage. To make us believe that we not from here. Not wasn't on this land first. All those people with carbon in their skin on this planet. Alright. That was over here. Because when they sent out these Spanish conquistadors, when they went out on their missions, they went to different parts of our planet, of this realm, rather, and attacked. They went east, west, and attacked all at once. Okay, so now that we now that we passed that point, now that we passed that point, now that we know that who the who the who the Native Americans really were, for those who didn't know, yes, that's us, that's us, that's your history. Before they before you were before you were today today you just a, a nigga or a bitch. 
or a thot, or a pimp, or a good old uh, employee. You see what I'm saying? But before they called through that, you was a you was an African American slave. <coughs> Latinos was too. Latino came out of nowhere. After they freed the slaves, then they came over Latino. <laughs> Nigga, you never heard the term Latino till they freed the slaves. Right. More division. It's more division. Real talk. That's why like Latino. What? What? But that's us. We was all in there together. Don't let them fool you. The genetics don't lie. All right? So, now that we know who the real Indians was, and as you can see, they didn't give us none of our shit. All the people that's living on our shit, like they said, they called them $5 Indians. That's true. That's true. I heard Dr. Phil Valentine call them $5 Indians. I like that term. I like that term. I heard Dan Calloway call them that too. I like that term. Because that's really what they is. They not us. <laughs> we the Indians. Y'all ain't gave her shit. Y'all got us thinking, y'all taught us in school that y'all killed all the Indians off and brought us over here after y'all killed the Indians off. Which, if you think about it, that don't even make sense. Who the fuck finna go? Listen, if they wanted slaves, if Europe wanted slaves, think about this, y'all. They teach you in school that Europe wanted slaves, right? Why would they kill off the Indians if they wanted slaves? You already got slaves. Why not just kill off the Indians that's resistant and then slave them Indians right there and make them your slaves? Who the fuck finna go to war with a whole land of Indians? Kill have to kill off all these Indians. Then gotta go back overseas and go to war to get Africans to get these Africans to put them on ships to bring them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The lies in now. The lies in now. <laughs> you hear me? For real though. The lies in now. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the university. We had 2,500 live viewers. Yeah, though. The bullshit ends now. Who the fuck would do that? And we didn't know in school, y'all. We wasn't paying attention. That shit was boring because they was our soul. Once again, your soul knows all truths. Remember that? Etheric bodies. I taught y'all this. Your soul was like, man, that's bullshit. You don't want to hear that shit. And you didn't pay attention. And then you just mark some shit down to get it right. You don't want to get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? You want to hear your mama mouth. You want to go outside. You know what I'm saying? You ain't had time for all that. You had summertime shit to go get involved in. You wasn't. You ain't trying to go kick. Man. You ain't what pay attention to that shit. No, you did. Because I did. We did. But our soul wouldn't let us. And I know y'all laughing. I can feel you laughing at home. That's how powerful I can feel you laugh. I can feel y'all laughing. Like, y'all is crazy. Look, honestly, this is the truth. You hear me? Oh, no, we getting deep. We finna get, we ain't scratch the surface. I gotta let niggas know who the Indians is first. Niggas gotta know they the Indians first. Before we can even go into, before we can even get into Chief Chicago. Oh, yeah, we finna get gangster. We finna get gangster. We finna get real shit gonna make a lot of sense right now tonight. Hitting, this is hitting history, hitting gemstones. You get what I'm saying? We the stone that the building refused, y'all. You hear me? They refused us. Now everything's smacking them in their face because it's like we rise and the awakening that beast waking them titans waking up inside of them especially if you ain't gonna get vaccinated them titans boiling inside you you wouldn't have got vaccinated you can't you can't rise you can't do shit but bubble so all you can do is bubble like hot grease you heat but you gonna you gonna rise the most rising you gonna do you gonna rise then bubble out Hear me? You know what I'm saying? So look, now that we know we the Indians, cool. Let's get into these guys. Now that we know we the Indians, so more lies. We never looked it like that, class. We didn't look like that, so I don't know why they lying to us like that. Okay, so this is all the land we had. We had all these tribes, right? We got all these different tribes. So us, current day African Americans or Latin Americans, which are your Puerto Ricans, and you know, you Latin Americans over here in this part of the land, all right? 
the we were all scattered in these different tribes, okay? So when when the Europe when Europe was trying to conquer this part of the land from us, all right, they had to carve out the land based upon the the strongest tribe. So they invaded our land, right? They invaded our land and they scattered out the strongest tribes. All right? And what they discovered was that up in this now present day Midwest region was a tribe called the Illinois that was very, very, very powerful. They controlled a lot of land and basically the heart of this whole little realm because they discovered that all these tribes were working in synchronization together in a cohesive unit as one, all right? This is what Europe discovered when they first invaded present-day America. All these tribes were working together, communicating, and they were trying to figure out how they were doing it. So basically, they scouted out and were able to find out that the whole land was basically ran by three main tribes. You had the Florida Seminoles down here that, that was running the whole basically south. All right. You had the, 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 the Illinois in the Midwest. All right. And you had a lot of Navajo. All right. Up in the West Coast area. Coming up out of, out of present day Mexico, all up South America, all up through that Inca, all up through that, all up down here. All right. All right, that's how it was. So, now, this is where we get deep, all right? I want to show y'all something. We're talking about, today we're talking about the Illinois Confederation, all right? And the Illinois Confederation was composed of, like they tell you, the Illinois Confederation, also referred to as the Illini, were made up of 12 to 13 tribes who lived in the Mississippi River Valley, okay? So it was composed of 12 to 13 tribes, but 12 to be exact, because you know Wikipedia gonna try to spin you. They're gonna try to spin you, okay? So I'm just using them for certain references, not everything. But this Illinois tribe was a very, very powerful tribe, okay? Very, very powerful tribe. All right, let me pull up the map. The Illinois controlled all of this, okay? Now, the Florida Seminoles had Florida, and they would work together with the Cherokee to control the South. But the Illinois was, was composed of 12 different tribes, and all of, pre, of the present-day Midwest was their land. And this is hidden history. This is hidden history. This is hidden history, right? They'll never tell you this, right, in school. They'll never teach this in school. Smoke good every day. <laughs> oh, so you get high, get high frequencies. Learn the truth. We it get high and talk about the truth in here. Day. So, all of this was owned and ran by the Illinois Confederation all the way down to Little Rock, Arkansas, okay? So the Illinois Confederation, these are the states they had. It was 12 tribes. Each tribe had a state. And the crazy thing is each state now today is named after the chief of each tribe or a tribe, okay? So the headquarter of the Illinois Confederacy was in present-day Chicago, Illinois. That was headquarters. This is why they named the state Illinois, okay? Present-day Chicago was the headquarter of the Illinois, which was one of the strongest tribes, and they had the biggest land, all right? They had more land than the Cherokee, okay? Because the Cherokee had present-day uh, Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi. The Ill that's only four states. The Illinois had 12 states, all right? This tribe wasn't nothing to play with. This is why they called them the fighting Illini in basketball. Hidden history. All right, we finna get deeper, though. We finna get deeper. Oh, yeah, we finna connect a lot of dots. So all of this land belonged to a powerful tribe called the Illinois that was slaughtered in these states. Every single state, they slaughtered the Illinois in to take over this land that they now call the Midwest. This is a whole region that was of, of people that was slaughtered, of us, our ancestors. See where we're going with it? Because a lot of 
lot of land now. Look at all them states. Remember, before they were states, that was just all land of the Illinois Confederation. Twelve tribes. Twelve states. Wisconsin. Minnesota. North Dakota. South Dakota. Nebraska. Kansas. Missouri. Iowa. Illinois, which is the headquarter, which is why I sit right in the center. Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio. All of this was Illinois land. Illinois Confederacy. Now, why does this matter? Because you're going to notice something. That in mo majority of these states is very violent. When you when you talking about Ohio, Cleveland, Youngstown, Columbus, Dayton, these are violent areas. Then you got Detroit, Flint, Lamb. I mean, the whole Michigan was the land. That's these are violent areas. Gary, Indianapolis, all right. Very violent cities: Chicago, Illinois, Milwaukee, St. Louis. Little Rock, Arkansas was a part of the Illinois Confederacy. All right? You got all of Missouri, okay? You got Kansas. You're going through Nebraska, the South, North Dakota, Minnesota, Minneapolis is violent. All right? So some of the most violent places on the map right now, even present day, come up out of this Illinois Confederacy. All right? And the reason being is because of all of this energy that's still boiling here. All right, these people were slaughtered, killed. The Illinois was. This was their land first, okay? And remember how you heard about those stories as a kid about ancient Indian burial grounds? Basically, this is a burial ground. When they killed our ancestors who were all a part of this Illinois Confederacy, those who, well, these are our ancestors regardless, but definitely people that were reincarnated here in these states, all right? If you were born after 1950 and you and you reincarnated in any of these states, you have a natural warrior spirit in you. You know why? Because you are a returner that were a part of one of these tribes during when that slaughtering took place. Now you got some souls that return and they were part of other tribes, even all the way overseas. But we just talking about the Illinois right now. We just talking about the Illinois right now. So this is a spiritual concept I'm bringing to you too. All right. Anybody born after 1950, right now, because right now we are in the age of Aquarius. All souls coming back are indigo souls. Remember that, period. But for those people, those souls and spirits with carbon in their skin that were born in these states after the year 1950, all right, majority of these individuals, majority of you, although you don't remember this, have experienced past lives as part of this tribe, the Illinois. And the elites understand all this. They understand energy. They understand that we never die. So they have been harnessing a lot of this energy using negative vortexes to keep the energy circulating amongst each other. So the Illinois was one of the toughest warrior tribes that the Spanish fought against. It took them forever to get this land, just like with the Florida Seminoles. It didn't happen overnight. So the, all these warrior spirits, and now they are warring with each other because they have forgotten the reason they are tr here, truly here to war. This is the true secret behind the violence in like a Chicago or a Gary or a St. Louis or Cleveland, Cincinnati, Detroit, Michigan, Milwaukee, all right, places this in these, this is ancient warrior energy. It's a spiritual thing. And they are using negative vortexes to keep these young warriors killing amongst each other. All right, because that all that energy is, is there. It's in our souls. So it has to go somewhere. So they channel it to make us channel that energy toward each other. But all of this land belonged to the Illinois. All right? And I'm going to tell you where each tribe was at and where their land was today. We're going we finna to go through it. But... The chief of the entire confederacy, let's go back, 
the Illinois Confederation, the chief of the entire tribe, because they don't say it on Wikipedia, his name was Chicago, okay? So the chief of the Illinois Confederation, it shows you right here, was made up of 12 to 13 tribes. There was 12 tribes, I told you to be exact. The chief of the entire tribe, the entire confederation, his name was Chief Chicago, All right? So he the ones who led, he led the whole war against these Spanish conquistadors, and he wasn't no punk. He wasn't no joke. Understand, understand that the Illinois, they had all these states. They slaughtered many, up to 300,000 soldiers. They slaughtered a lot of soldiers who came to try to take over this land before they finally died, all right? Before they finally was, before they, you know, finally gave in and couldn't hold them off any longer, okay? So, now, I'm going to show you how they hid this history in Chicago, right? They named Chicago Chicago because this is the area where Chief Chicago was actually killed at. All right? Chief Chicago was actually killed right in Chicago, where, they, where President Chicago is. And each tribe had land. So let me, let me, let me, first off, let me name the tribes. Let me name the tribes and let me name their land for you, okay? Let me break it down for you all. All right? So this is the Illini tribe. I'm finna run through them. Okay, you had 12. You had the Kaskaskia. All right, the Kaskaskia, they had all of Wisconsin and present-day Milwaukee. The Kaskaskia. All right, this was a tribe. One of the tribes in the, that was in the Illinois. Okay? You had, you had the Cahokia. The, the Cahokia was in present-day St. Paul, Minneapolis. That's tribe number two. Okay? Tribe number three was... Chief Chicago's headquarter tribe, which was the Peoria tribe, and they were in present-day Chicago, all right? Present-day Chicago, all of that land all the way down was all of the Peoria, okay? They were called the, 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 the Peoria tribe, and they were led by Chief Blackhawk, but that was the, he was the chief of the, of the Peoria tribe, but the chief of the whole tribe of the Illinois Confederacy, Remember, they were 12 tribes deep, was Chief Chicago. All right, stay with me. Stay with me. All right, so the third tribe that we have, let's start again. The first tribe, we're going to name all 12 tribes and show you their states. I'm going to break it down to where they are today. So we got 12 tribes that, were, that made up the, the, uh, the, uh, the Illinois Confederacy. And as you see today, it's 12 states. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You see how they hide the truth in plain sight? The Midwest today is still composed of 12, of 12 states, and that's because it was 12 tribes. This is all the land. These, mother, these motherfuckers ain't shit, though. They put our history right in our face, but they hide it, though. All right, they know, then they know, like, okay, you would never look this deep because you already thinking Native American, somebody else. No, nah, this you. This your ancestors. This your ancestors. This is, we talking eight, nine, ten generations ago. You get what I'm saying? This is, this is real. This is, this is deep stuff right now. So, all right. Hidden history. So in present-day Wisconsin, this was the land of the Kaskaskia Indians, all right? These were all black people, Latin, Latino, black people and Latino people, all right? If you want to call them that, all right? Now, in the land, the, the second tribe was the Cahokia tribe, all right? They had all the Minneapolis. There's even pyramids in Illinois that they call the Cahokia pyramids to try to throw you off, all right? To try to throw you off if you ever do look. But the Cahokia land was in Minnesota. Okay, they had all this, they had all the St. Paul. I'm um, these are esoteric facts. I know this because, like I say, Grandmaster Teacher of the Ave Universe. I get shown these downloads to give to y'all. I'm here to help y'all remember, okay? So the third tribe was the Peoria. This was headquartered there, and this was the headquarter of the entire Confederation. It was right here in Chicago. Alright? And it was led by Chief Blackhawk. Okay? The Peoria tribe, President of Chicago. Alright? And all of Illinois. Alright? Now, the next tribe you had was the Tamara. They had all of North Dakota. That's tribe number four. Tribe number five was the Moena. They had all of South Dakota, all right? The sixth tribe of the, of the Illini tribe, all right? They were composed of 12 tribes. The sixth tribe was the Michigami. The Michigami had all of present-day St. Louis, 
Missouri all the way down to Little Rock, Arkansas. So that was all the Michigami land. That was the sixth tribe. The seventh tribe was the Chapo. All right. They had all of Topeka and Wichita, present day Wichita, Kansas. All right. Chief Wichita was actually the chief. Wichita was the chief of the Chapo tribe, which is now present day Kansas and all that. All right. Remember, these people that stole this land from us are not that creative. They don't, they lack souls, so they really kept the same names. And just, you know, get what I'm saying? That's what makes it so so sad, though. But they had they had, they hid this from us, though. Okay? So now, the eighth tribe was in Iowa. This was the Chinko. Okay? And I'm calling this for short. You can look up the names. They're a little longer than that. But I'm breaking it down for y'all, the Chinko, okay? Iowa. Des Moines, Davenport, all up in here, present day Iowa. That land was the land of the Chinko. Okay, then in Nebraska, you had a tribe called the Coco Tano who had all of Omaha and Lincoln. All right, the Coco Tano. They had all of the Nebraska. All right. Now, the Tim tribe was the, the, the S.B. McKinney, the S.B. McKinney, and they had all of Kansas City in Topeka. They just had Kansas. So they, out of all the tribes, they had the smallest land because they, they had what Kansas City and Topeka is at. That little bit of land, that belonged to the S.B. Mekia, all right? They had that little land. The 11th tribe, which goes by, which is a hidden tribe, all right? And they go by tomorrow, and I'm going to show y'all this. I'm going to I'm gonna go to Wiki and show y'all these tribes, too. But I'm telling to y'all in my own words right now, and then we're going to go to Wiki and look it up. But tomorrow, they try to hide them in history as tomorrow. When we go look at the 11, the 12 tribes of the Illini, they're going to call them tomorrow, but that's actually it's the Potawatomi, all right? Now, the reason they don't want you to know that the Potawatomi is tomorrow tribe is because the Potawatomi had all of Detroit and Indianapolis. So the Potawatomi tribe, the Potawatomi, the Potawatomi tribe, the, I mean, I said the Potawatomi, the Potawatomi tribe, they had all of Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, all through Indianapolis. And they tried to hide them as tomorrow because they don't want you to know people to know about this, this connection. Because if you connect these, the Potawatomi, the, the, uh, the Potawatomi tribe to Indianapolis and Michigan, you could then connect them to the rest of this. All right? This is how big the, 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 the Illini Confederacy was, though. Okay? And then the 12th tribe was the Shawnee. Okay? And the Shawnee is another big tribe. And the Shawnee had all of Indiana, Indiana and Ohio. Okay? So that covers Cleveland, Cincinnati, Columbus, Dayton. And these 12 tribes made up the fight in the Lion Eyes as, as they knew them, as they, came to be, as they became to be known later. All right? So look, let's bag it up, though. Let's bag it up. Let's look at it. Let's go. Let's see. Let's look at the tribes. Let's look at the tribes. Boom. Formation. The Illinois Confederation comprised 12 separate tribes who share common language and culture. These tribes are the, what I say, the Kaskaskia, the Cahokia, the Peoria, the, 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 the Tamara, the Moena, the Michigami, the Chapo, the Chinko, the Coco Tano, the Espaminkia, the Maro, and the Tapo. Now look at the Maro. They hid this, the Maro and the Tapo, but that's really the Shawnee, okay? And that's really the Potawatomi, the other uh, Potawatomi tribe. Now let me show you why they hid them. Let, let's go to something. Look at this. When you put in what tribes were in Detroit, Michigan, look what comes up. Detroit occupies the contemporary and ancestral, ancestral homelands of three Anishabi nations of the Council of Three Fires. The Ojibwe, the Ottawa, and the Potawatomi, what I tell you. Through the Treaty of Detroit. You see it? You see it? This is why they are hidden, right? That's the Tama or the, or the Maro. Because they don't want you to know that the Potawatomi, which was a powerful tribe, they was part of the three fires were in Detroit. You see this? What tribes were in Detroit, Michigan? The, now you see this, right? The Potawatomi. Now watch this. We finna put in now what now what tribes were in Indiana? And watch. The Potawatomi. The Potawatomi is their name, y'all. We look at we researching this live. We're in Indian we're in Indiana. Watch this. If they keeping it real, it's going to pop up. What Native tribes... What? What I tell you? Look. What Native American tribes were in Indiana? Now, we just seen the Potawatomi was in where? Detroit, right? Now, check this out. Among the major tribes...
that lived in what is now Indiana, where the Delaware, what were the Delaware, the Kickapoo, the Miami, the Mound Builders, the Piakasha, the Potawatomi, Shawnee. There they go, Potawatomi. All right. So they don't want people to know that the Potawatomi were in Indianapolis and Detroit, because if they know that, then they can connect that they were a part of this huge Illinois Confederation. All right. The Potawatomi had Michigan. And they were Indianapolis. And then Shawnee were in Indianapolis, Indianapolis, Indiana too. So Shawnee had the other half of Indiana and Ohio. Now check this out. Look up what tribes were in Indiana. Shawnee, right? Now watch this. What tribes were in Ohio? I said the Shawnee, right? Now what tribes were in Ohio? What tribes were in Ohio? Up uh, among the tribes, I, look, what tribes were in Ohio? Among the tribes occupying the land in Ohio were the Shawnee. I ain't got to finish. I ain't got to finish. And look, even, and they in Detroit too. The Ojibwe again, there they go. When they in Detroit too? Yeah, because this whole land was the Illinois Confederation. You see what I'm saying? Hidden history. All of this was the Illinois Confederation. So now, all right, that brings me here to the Chicago Fire, this great Chicago Fire story that they tell people that was born and raised in Chicago, right? Now, if you're from Chicago, they talk, they tell you this story about this great Chicago fire that took place. And they talk about how this, this lady had a cow and she knocked the lamp over and the whole Chicago caught on fire. Oh, Chicago, and they had to rebuild it. But in reality, that's a motherfucking lie, all right? That never happened. They say the great Chicago fire was a conflagration that burned in the American city of Chicago during... October 8th through October 10th, 1871. Now, they teach us this story in Chicago, right? Growing up in Chicago, we heard this story. I heard the story in school about the lady. She knocked the fucking lamp over. Let them tell it. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if they, they say the beginning. That the lady's supposed to knock the, uh, I forgot her name. Here it go. Here it go. Check it out. Origin. The fire is claimed to have started at about 8.30 p.m. on October 8th in or around a small barn belonging to the O'Leary family that boarded the alley behind 137 DeCoven Street. The shed next to the barn was the first building to be, custom, to be consumed by the fire. City officials never determined the exact cause of the blaze, but the rapid spread of the fire due to a long drought in the prior summer, strong winds from the southwest, and the rapid destruction of the water pumping system explained extensive damage of the mainly wooden city structures. There has been much speculation over the years on a single start to the fire. The most popular tale blames Miss, oh, that's her name, Miss O'Leary's cow, who allegedly knocked over a lantern. Other states, uh, other states that a group of men were gambling inside the barn and knocked over a lantern. All right, anywhere it go, they trying to say she knocked over a lantern and started a whole fire, right? And the whole fucking Chicago burnt down. This was before 1871. Now, they show you all these pictures, saying that this is how Chicago looked it before 1871 and before the fire, all right? This is Miss O'Leary house before the fire, right? But these are all lies. They done went back and took some pictures, wrote themselves in history. None of this shit took place, all right? They did call have a big fire, but the fire had nothing to do with no, with no cows. What they did was when they killed off all the Illinois, when they killed off all the Illinois, all right, the last battle was fought in Chicago by Chief Chicago. He, they was the last ones they got. When they came, when the Spanish came, they killed the, the, the ones in Ohio first, Indiana, Michigan, and they got Wisconsin, Minnesota. They got everything first. The last state to give in was Illinois, the state of Illinois, all right, and that was Chief Chicago. He was there fighting with the Peoria and a few more tribes that had scattered together because so many of us have, of us have been killed or captured, enslaved or whatever. So what really happened was in that final battle when they killed so many of us off, they set the whole Chicago ablaze to hide all those dead bodies, okay? They set the whole Chicago on fire to hide all those dead bodies, all right? And then they tried to give us this story in school that about this whole big fire that broke out and which is why the whole Chicago caught on fire and had to be rebuilt. They had to rebuild Chicago. All right, Chicago looked totally different before 1871 and this fire, all right? And they had to rebuild it afterwards. But they rebuilt it over the bodies of all these dead Indians. And these Indians are us, okay? 
So this is where this ancient warrior spirit come from that's in Chicago, this plague in Chicago. And that warrior spirit is really for them to rise against the, the, the oppressors. But they got our people under black magic voodoo spells where they are using this ancient warrior energy to make them hurt each other. All right, and they are not just doing this in Chicago. They're doing this in every single state that's a part of this Illinois Confederacy. They know that you are ancient souls and spirits. Most souls and spirits go back to where they wanted to avenge themselves. So if you were a part of this confederacy and you died in that and you came back to avenge it, you're going to come back in one of these states. All right? And the elites know this. And not just with this tribe. They do this down in Florida with the Florida Seminole tribe. They do this with all different type of tribes. But we just talking about the Illinois Confederacy right now. All right? A very powerful tribe. A very powerful tribe. A huge tribe. And, 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 and them taking this realm, they couldn't have did it without defeating the Florida Seminoles in the Illinois. Those are two tribes they had to get rid of. The, the Florida Seminoles, I'm doing a lecture on them next. They were one tribe by themselves, though. The Illinois were composed of 12 different tribes. Like, I didn't go and that's why all this energy is still here today in these states. That's why so much aggression and violence in these states in this area. Old ancient warrior energy is still here. But they are not to be used amongst each other. They are supposed to be used for the old person who did what he did. Oh, yeah, it get deep. It get deep. And this is why they hide it, though. Oh, this is the same land. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but they... They, they cast up these old energies because they I named the city down. Chicago after the chief. Then they named all these states after these dead Indians, which are, which are us. So that's like spell casting and make, making mockery of us in a way. So that energy be fizzling. And it's not just there. This is in any land we just talking about here right now. Though. I'm just connecting these dots. Some of y'all never knew. All of this was our just one one tribe, one nation of twelve tribes moving as one to fight off the Spanish who were trying to take our land. So this energy is still on us as a whole. This ain't just start now. They've been doing this to us before African slavery because they did it to us when we was Native American slaves, when they called us Native Americans. They was naming us Native Americans. We wasn't going for that shit. We was fighting, we was rebelling. That's why a lot of our ancestors died. So when you talk about ancestors, your ancestors were African slaves and your ancestors were Native Americans because that's what the, these, these oppressors named them. But you know, in reality, we was Anunnaki gods the whole time, though. All right? We just connecting dots. And this is karma, and they have to pay for this karma debt that they did to this. You know, they got to pay for this. This is what's going on on the planet, and this is happening... Like I said, I'm going to be breaking this down all over. We just started with the Midwest right now. This was the fighting Illini, Chief Chicago, Chief of Chiefs, one of the most vicious sect of, 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 of Native tribes that fended off these Spanish conquistadors, the fighting Illini and the Florida Seminoles. And that's why to this day they got, they called them the fighting Illini. That's what that really meant. Especially those who watch like college. You ever wonder why they called them that? That's where that name come from. Cause, Cause, they was they put up a, a hell of a fight before they finally took the land. And see, the oppressors they don't understand magic and spell casting the way we do. If they did, they would have never named this land after us: Indiana and Illinois and Chicago and West. Coast. Naming the name after these chiefs of these different tribes. Damn. You see what I'm saying? You can't do that. That energy gonna come back to bite you eventually, and that's what's going on right now. See what I'm saying? It's deeper than you think, reflections. It's all connected. This is a war they will not win. This is an ancient war. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. It's an ancient war. This is an ancient war. This has been going on. This ain't just, this ain't new. Add this on top of everything they told you. You the Native Americans, and they sitting here showing you these people. That ain't, that ain't how we look. You looking at us right now, this is how we look. You want to know how the Indians look? Let me remind you. Let me show you. There you go. 
You want to see how Indian look? Look at that one. There you go. Don't I look like you? And I can really say, like, my great-grandma is full-blooded Cherokee. And I'm pretty sure your great-grandma was full-blooded something, too. And your great-grandma, all right, all right, so what does that tell you? How does three, how you have three generations ago, your grandma was, was full-blooded Cherokee, my grandmama was, was full-blooded, whatever, and now we African-American. What does that tell you? You see what I'm saying? We just picked up a different name. It get deep, man. And it's deeper than that because they slaughter us. So that energy is still here. And then they built cities over us. Understand? They built the whole city over us. Killed the chief of our whole tribe. Killed our whole tribe off. The whole confederation off. Renamed the land Michigan and all these different cities and states. Then made the main city Chicago. The biggest city in the Midwest is Chicago. And then you, you built the whole city over where you killed him at in the last of the Peoria tribe and make that downtown like where all of downtown Chicago at. That was all, them was all dead bodies. They, there was so many dead bodies right there and they built a whole downtown Chicago over there. And named it Chicago. You could have named it anything, but they lack a soul and they ain't creative. So they still want to name it after. Make a whole team called the Chicago Blackhawks and making billions off the name. That's the name of the hockey team, Chicago Blackhawks. Blackhawks was the actual chief, and so was Chicago. He was the chief of the whole Illinois Confederacy. We talking 12 states. Gangsters. They was gangsters. You seen the post I put over kills in water. Come on now. They was gangsters, man. Y'all, man, how we was coming, man. Come on now. Come on now. How we was coming now. So it's nothing to fear. You got to remember, man, they took everything from us, man. They took everything from us. So what is, what is this? What is, what is this? What does this say? This is a real poster. And what was he wanting for? Wanted by the U.S. government for the murder of an entire military outpost. Yeah. This was the Illinois. Left hand bull, you see them names on there? Left hand, look. These names. Left hand bull, swift hawk, blind man, kills in sight. Make these are our ancestors. These are different names that they gave our ancestors because of how we was killing their ass. You know what I'm saying? If you was good at killing in water, that's what you was named. Remember the Florida Seminoles was using alligators. Alright? Red bird and burn. We was using little elk. He was using elks. You see what I'm saying? We was using animals, everything. We was using the whole forest still. We were still in tune back then. Walking eagle. Why didn't they call them that? Because they was using this stuff, you know? Like, like they was using stuff. Like, listen, man, we've we been using, man. Look, our roots run so deep. <laughs> our roots run so, so deep, man. You hear me? We wasn't playing. Your ancestors didn't fuck around about, about this freedom shit. And this was all behind them trying to take our land. Yes, they wanted wanted by the U.S. government, but why? Why did he do that? Because they trying to take they were trying to take our land. They was raping our the same shit they own. This is about this war. They was trying to prevent what ended up happening. Our, their kids, us coming up in this. Facts. Better remember who you is, man. You feel me? And, and remember, remember Chief Chicago and the fighting the line. How they gave it up. Remember the Florida Seminoles. How they gave it up. Them, yeah, them y'all ancestors too. When you meet in that courage and that inspiration, remember what how we move. When the cause right and it's justice, like right now, we not we don't want to go to war. But they ain't gonna give us nothing back. They not just gonna give it back to us. You think they gonna just give it back to us? Look at this, y'all. They don't. They didn't forget that. Wanted by the U.S. government for the murder of an entire they, of an entire military outpost. You talking fifty to sixty to maybe a hundred men, armed men. One God did that. One by himself. Come on, they didn't forget that. The oppressors didn't forget this type of shit. They ain't giving us nothing back. <laughs> Why you think they gonna give us back? They had to work hard to get it. Our ancestors ain't make it easy. Hold on. We ain't make it easy. We ain't just give it up. That's what I'm saying. They they hide all these stories to keep to keep your to keep the rebel, the rebel spirit down. It's already in you to rise. So to keep it down. You know what I'm saying? They try to hide that type of shit. 
But right now they kidnapping our babies, killing our kids. How is we supposed to react? Making us pay for everything. We gotta go work for shit. This is our land. We okay, we don't want to war for it. Can we just get it back? But they ain't gonna just give it back. So what does that mean? Okay, we've already marched. Our ancestors ain't march, man. Come on, man. That's why they hide that. They don't want you to remember. They don't want you to know, hey, you and they don't want you. That's too much more pain on top of pain. So you're like, hold on. Now, when you find out you're an Indian, so you're like, hold on. So first off, we was the Indians first. You telling me we, we you told on, you telling me we was the Indians first. And then they they enslaved us and got us in physical shackles. And when they finally physical shackled us, then they renamed us. We became African American slaves. And then after they freed us, they divided us into African Americans and Latin Americans. We became Puerto Ricans and everything else. And black people. So, yes, that's what happened. Yes. Yes. Yes, nigga. So then you really be like, oh, this is my land fight. Like, you notice your land if you know you the Indians. You're like, damn, hold on, the Indians was already here. Oh, damn, we the Indians? Yes. And before you were Indians, you was just gods. You became Indians after you fell in frequency. It's been a long time coming, Reflections. You got to remember who you are, man. We been, this is an ancient war. This is ancient energies here. All right, so when you talk about Chicago, why it's so violent, and why Detroit, these places so violent and so, and they produce a lot of, you know, like outspoken, like me, I'm outspoken because of that warrior energy, ancient energies, you get what I'm saying? Ancient energies is there, so they, they transpire through Avatar and the, and the oppressors notice it's not just in, it is not just in the Midwest, this is East Coast, well, this is all over the fucking planet, we just focusing on this tribe right now. That's not including, like I say, you go deeper than that. The original father's Indian. It's a lot of land, man, and they, and they hit it. They hit it. Whole Chicago fire, man. And it's sad because I remember them teaching us this bullshit story in school when I grew up in Chicago. About the great Chicago fire. They didn't tell us that they made, they set our fucking ancestors on fire. Motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because our ancestors wasn't going. So to hide the bodies, they set them, they had to set everything on fire. And then they built over the burnt dead bodies. They built Chicago over all the burnt dead bodies. Ain't no motherfucking Miss O'Leary knock no motherfucking nothing over. Feel me? It get deep. It get deep. All right. But I'm gonna see y'all in class tomorrow. For uh, we got a deep lesson tomorrow on liquid gold. All right, I want y'all to take in that lesson I just gave y'all about Chief Chicago, Chief of Chief, and the fight in Illinois. We're gonna be doing more tribes. All right, more lessons coming up on these different tribes. This must be done. But this is where this energy is coming from, and this is why it's, that's why I'm I'm reaching so hard for the tribes <coughs> and telling them to stop killing each other. Because that's what that's the oppressors too. Like it's it's, it's warriors in, in them states, man. They're so strong by themselves, they can stop a whole army. That, you know what I'm saying? And that's what they don't want. That's why they got them killing each other. You get what I'm saying? It get it get deep. And they had us like that when I remember they had me like that at the point of time. But this is why these are these ancient warrior energies that I hear that are, that are within us. Right? But I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Peace to the guys and guys in the clinic.